and Stacey Galandi with Lux News Live, and we are here at the Mandarin Oriental in Las Vegas in a very special space. We are here for a special gallery showing of the art of Desmond Mason. So how exciting is this for you, Desmond, to actually show your work here in Las Vegas? Uh, it's, a, it's a phenomenal experience. You know, I've done it here uh, now two years, and every year my goal is to get better, have a bigger show. Uh, we do it all for the right reasons, but uh, this year right now, it's uh, we're just now getting started. It's starting to pack up pretty good, so I'm excited, honored, blessed, humbled, all the good stuff. Now, obviously, this is something that you've probably had envisioned, but are, do you ever like sit and kind of pinch yourself and say, "Wow, I'm I'm here. It's this is this is a reflection of me and my life." Yeah, you, you don't just uh, you know you hope and you wish and you have all these uh, dreams and aspirations of getting together a show and having it packed and selling work, but you know when it comes to you know fruition and you look up and you see people actually coming out and supporting you and you get positive feedback about your work, it's again it's uh, it's a little overwhelming. You say you get feedback though. Does, is it tough for you as an artist? You're like, oh wow, they're all looking at my art right now. Do you worry about? I mean, you can't please everybody, but I, I would imagine you get a very good good reception wherever you go. Yeah, it's uh, you know it's emotional. It's abstract expressionism. I paint off of my emotions, my experience, past, present, uh, my dreams going forward. And uh, not everybody likes my work. I've got some you know bad reviews on individual pieces, but 95% uh, of the time they've been good. So. Uh, when you put yourself out there like that and you get good feedback, it feels good. And when you get punched in the stomach, it doesn't feel so good. But, you know, it's my passion. I love it. You know, um, it's funny because I look at you and I think, you know, what, what's a basketball player like you doing an art gallery like this? I mean, is this is it's it's not typical, right? Yeah, no, it's, uh, you know, you have guys and a lot of guys have hidden talents. They just, you know, they don't put themselves out there. I, it was hard for me to do it. I was nervous. My first exhibition um, reason being is that I I played sports and I was always successful at sports. I, you know, and my uh, my talent level, I didn't lose very often. I lost games, but I felt like I was always progressing. And when you put yourself out there and you don't get the feedback that you want to get, or you're not that good at something, it hurts as an athlete. And so for me, um, I got past that uh, stone and and moved forward. But you know, I enjoy it. I enjoy people giving me the positive feedback and the negative. I take it and try to be better. And uh, but it's it's fun. Not very many artists, athletes out there, but. But there are some, though, for sure. Now, this is not something that you just decided to, hey, I'm going to start painting when you retired from, from basketball. This is something that started as a, as a young boy, right? Yeah, I started painting uh, at 11. That was, um, you know, legitimate classes and taking it serious. It was more to keep myself out of trouble. But uh, going forward, I started doing ceramics and sculpture. Um, then there I went to watercolor and oil and pencil and kind of continued to progress. I went to Oklahoma State University where I was a studio art major. Uh, and then past that, I started having shows my second year in the NBA. And since that point, you know, I've been progressing forward and trying to be the best artist possible. Do you in some way think that maybe your art, your talent, maybe saved you? Because you had a very difficult childhood. It was, uh, you know, it was definitely something for me to escape what was going on on a daily basis. Um, you know, it was just that urban living. I'm a country boy, but, you know, I quote unquote inner city country uh, and uh, you know life wasn't great but I tried to find ways to keep myself out of trouble a lot of my friends went the opposite direction but art was one of the big ones and sports and uh, having good parents and good people around me but um, it wasn't always perfect but it definitely kept me out of a lot of trouble and it allowed me to strive for something more and it was my life after basketball I knew that I would paint forever whether it's for monetary value for charitable purposes it was always going to be a part of my life and the artwork that we're seeing today, this is kind of a reflection of you just in the last 10 months or so? Yeah, it's, it's a, uh, you know, it's an area of, of my life. When you look at this, it's a series I did called Geometric Metallics, and um, it fluctuates through my life of a 10 to 12 month span of um, good, bad, ugly, and uh, and stress and not stress. I mean, I'm, I'm human, just like the next person, and uh, because of professional sports, a lot of people don't see it that way, but, you know, I deal with the same things. I have kids and life is life and um, I stress and so you look at these pieces and there's a lot of stress and, and serenity at times and peace at times and turmoil at times within the center 
of them, but there's this gold border that is crisp and clean and very geometric that is kind of the shell of us, how we all hide those feelings deep inside. And uh, so that's what it's about. I, I keep it inside. As I said, I internalize until I decide to just rip a canvas apart. And so, uh, but I love, I love doing it. It's like any painting we can look at and say, okay, this is what Desmond was feeling at this point. This is what he's feeling at this point. You, you know, you, you, you look at it and you're like, well, that's busy. Uh, that's erratic. Well, I was a little stressed and uh, just trying to get it done. I was letting out every emotion into the canvas, but I really love doing it. You know, I love getting it out of my body uh, and onto canvas and being able to reflect on it later. And, uh, and you know, again, if people like it, that's great. And if they don't, you know, I got it out of me. You know, it was, it was the most important thing. And ultimately, you know, it's, it's how you're feeling, you know, and, and this is something, this is from you, a gift from you to anybody who, who, who wants to appreciate the artwork too. So. Yeah, and, and basketball is the same way, you know. I, I would have played basketball for free. I just love it. I mean, I love what it does for me as an individual. I played it since I was five. Um, I just knew it was something that was going to always be in my life. And I don't play basketball, and I want to be known as an artist. But realistically, it's part of my life. So that's the most important thing. And art's the same way. I, I knew it was going to be in my life to some extent. And whether people like it or not, I appreciate the opportunity to express myself on canvas, paper, wood, whatever it may be. You know what's so great about this too is that you were able to go on to a lucrative career after your lucrative career, but it's not necessarily just for you. This is you. You are a very charitable person. Talk to me about that. Yeah, I, I love it. I've uh, so many people along my journey. They've helped me out. You know, they've uh, made life easy for me. They've they've been there for me. They've been real. Uh, they didn't sugarcoat anything, and uh, and they helped me. You know, whether it be from a financial standpoint, with my best friend growing up when I didn't have anything you know his dad bought my first YMCA membership uh, or if it's someone just to listen because I didn't really trust a lot of people to talk to about the hard stuff in my life and so uh, people have been there for me so my goal is to utilize this talent um, and I did it with basketball as well to give back as much as possible because the world is changing you know it's uh, it's uh, we see all the things that are going on worldwide but you know I think we we all lose sight that there is another generation or two below us that um, they need positive influences and they need help. And so my goal is to do everything I can as my little me um, to better some lives. And if you had to choose between basketball and art, could you choose? No. <laughs> they go hand in hand. You know, without art, there's no me in basketball. And because I was a creative dunker. You know, and so it was artistic. And without uh, basketball, there's no me in art because, you know, with me, art was always my getaway. It was another motivation for me to have something going forward. I didn't want to retire and have nothing to do. So I'm a busy guy, but they go hand in hand. Um, and honestly, without the arts, and I'm just, this is like my pitch to the world. Without the arts, you know, there's really none of this. I mean, we, we I broke it down always to the chairs that we're sitting in and the videography and the photography and the culinary art. Who knows where you would have, you would, where you'd be now? I would be, you know, I, I don't think it would be a good place. And so, uh, for me, I look at the world that I live in, and it's just artistic people create this for us, and I appreciate that. Anybody that you'd like to have one of your paintings, like I don't know, say maybe the president? <laughs> oh, yeah, well, that's a good one. That's good. <laughs> Barack Obama, that would be great. Uh, but you know, you know, honestly, I. Uh, I want people to have my work that they appreciate. Obviously, we can go down a list of names, and um, you know, but it's all people. You say, well, that guy's got a lot of money, and that guy's got. But you know, if I had to look back in the past, I would love for for a Warhol and a Basquiat or a Keith Haring to appreciate my work. You know, I collect their work, but for them to appreciate my work, you know, that that to me is much more important than uh, Warren Buffett buying a painting. Let's put it that way. Yeah. Well, good luck tonight. This is a huge crowd. How exciting! It's, started, is this? So it's just getting started. I hadn't looked up, so now I just looked up, and there's, uh, it's going to be really busy here shortly. So, uh, but this is great. Well, Desmond Mason, thank you so much for your time. I'm Stacy Galani. This has been Lux News Live, and now I'm going to go pick it. Will you save one for me? Absolutely, okay. absolutely. Go get anyone you want. I'll go ahead and put a red dot on it for you. Okay, great. So maybe I'll get a discount. Nah. Okay. Make that happen. <laughs> All for the kids. <laughs> thank you so much.